Hello and welcome to this week's Wellness Wonder at Cambridge University Botanic Garden. I'm Sally Pettit, I'm the Head of Horticulture here and I'm one of the team who's looking after the garden during this extreme time, carrying out essential duties of watering of our glass houses, nursery area and experimental section. As we wander past the woodland you can see hellebores in full flower there with their lime flowers and fritillarias and coming along beside the stream beginning to see hints of spring colour. Beautiful reflections here in the stream but also you can hear birds of all sorts in the background as well. and can take in the lovely sound of the water flowing over the fall here next to the marsh marigold or king cup but, um, buttercup and also the skunk cabbage lysichiton Here we can enjoy newly emerging fresh foliage in our streamside, streamside border which includes the lovely flower heads of the drumstick primula, primula denticulata. This always seems such a joyful entrance to the garden, especially at this time of year when everything does look so fresh. And within only a few minutes you've escaped from the hustle and bustle of the main road into Cambridge. And here we're just stopping to admire the beautiful pendant flowers of the summer snowflake, Leucogium aestivum, which is a beautiful, gracious, bulbous species, which thrives in moisture and semi-shade. And tucked amongst it, we can just make out the emerging heads of the toothwort, Lathraea clandestina, which is a curious crocus looking plant. It's parasitic, parasitic and um, thrives in moist woodlandy conditions here with us. and can begin to enjoy the primroses looking magnificent in this wilder area where they're naturalised and they're coming into full flower. And also some of the magnolias are still hanging on to, to flower despite the frost that we've had recently. So here we have the lovely goblet shaped flowers of Magnolia seren. And heading towards the lake as we cast a, a glance across the sandstone rock garden, this lovely prunus, um, which is just such a joy at this time of year, as it sits above the lake Prunus serrulata alboplina, which just has these magnificent wafts of very, very pale pink, almost white blooms. Just magnificent. And we'll just take a look across the lake. And 
and head round towards the rock garden. Here on the rock garden we can enjoy the beautiful flowers of this dwarf iris, Iris Reichenbachii. And as we step across, taking in the views and the lime greens of the beautiful spurge here, Euphorbia caracas, we'll eventually come to a typical Easter flower. This is one of the most joyful of spring flowering plants. The pasque flower, seen here in all its glory, with its flowers fully open in the sun and these beautiful soft outers to the, the stem and the calyx. Joyful plant, Pulsatilla vulgaris, also known as the pasque flower because it is associated with Easter flowering. And finally today, we've headed into the hot houses. Um, slightly mad perhaps on such a warm, hot day, but there are some joys and treasures in here that really need sharing with you all. So here we are with the beautiful Thumbergia mysorensis, which is creating a curtain-like effect for us to wander through as we enter the tropical house. And then as we head on through, it's quite a contrast to the outside and the streamside gardens. But just wanted to bring you to see another of our seasonal highlights, this time in the form of our jade vine, which is a real treat for many of our visitors at this time of year. So here you can see one racine just beginning to get colour but another just now full of flower, looking absolutely magnificent here in the glass houses. And we hope to see many more of these racemes dropping down from the corridor above us over the next few weeks. It really is still such a thrill to see this every year. It's such an extraordinary color. So the jade vine from the Philippines or Strongylodon macrobotrys which we know is a real treat for many of our visitors who come back year after year to see this. We hope you've enjoyed another wellness wander with us. Please give feedback via our website or YouTube. Um, your comments are always welcome and we hope you've enjoyed another edition of our wellness wanders and we hope to be back with you soon. <laughs>